All right, so we'll be working problem number four where a block of mass M equals 1,000 kilograms is being pulled across a surface connected to a tractor by a spring of stiffness K equals 4,900 newtons per meter and, re and relaxed length L naught is equal to four meters. The whole assemblage moves with constant speed V equals three meters per second. The coefficient of sliding friction between the block and the ground is uh, mu k equals 0 0.5 while the coefficient of static friction is 0 0.75. So first we're going to draw the free body diagram where the normal force is going to be equal to the force of gravity and uh, the force applied by the tractor is going to be equal to the force of friction in the opposite direction because there is a constant speed and the length of the friction force should be half the length of the normal force because the object is moving and the friction coefficient is 0 0.5. So moving on to number to part B we're going to calculate the length of the spring and to start with that, we'll have Fy, the normal force in the y direction, minus the force of gravity should be equal to zero because the net force is zero. So the normal force should be equal to the force of gravity both in the y direction. So that will equal mg, which is 1,000 kilograms times 9.8 newtons per kilogram which is 9,800 newtons and then we can calculate the force of friction which is going to be the coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force to mag the magnitude of the normal force and that will be 0 0.5 times 9,800 newtons which is 4,900 newtons and uh, the force of the spring in the x direction minus the force of friction in the x direction as well should also be equal to zero. So that means that F spring in the x direction should equal 4,900 newtons, which is the force of friction in the negative x direction. So Ks S should be equal to, since the, since the force of the spring is only in the x direction, should be equal to 4,900 newtons. And what we can do then is, in order to find Let's see, L is L minus L naught, since it is, it would, since the spring would be stretched in this scenario. So we can divide both sides by Ks, and L minus L naught is 4,900 4, newtons divided by Ks, and the length of the spring will be that plus the relaxed length. And very conveniently, the spring stiffness is exactly the same number, so it makes our calculations easier. So that will be one meter plus the relaxed length of four meters. So the length of the spring is five meters. And on part C, we actually are asked to Part C. Uh, find the period. We're actually we're asked to find the yeah we're asked to find the period of isolation or of oscillation for the spring, and we can first find angular frequency, which is or we can go ahead and do the whole thing in one step with the period is equal to. 2 pi over the angular frequency, which is square root of 
ks over m. And that will be 2 pi over the square root of 4,900 newton meters, newtons per meter over uh, 1,000 kilograms. And that will be 2.838 seconds per cycle. All right, and you can manipulate this in many ways. The force diagram has numerous, infinitely many possibilities. You can have the spring pulling in the positive x direction against gravity and, uh, and some other applied force possibly in the x direction. There's just so many different possibilities. You, could have, you can even analyze uh, static friction instead of kinetic friction if you would like more problems, etc.